Welcome everyone, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Reed Havens, founder of Havens Consulting, business intelligence consultant, and Microsoft MVP. I'm here today to talk to you about a useful feature when it comes to report development. I'd like to discuss the idea of naming objects in the selection pane as a best practice in Power BI. The selection pane is where all objects on a given report page are kept and is used whenever a bookmark is created to show or hide objects from a report page, among other things. Now personally, I've had a report page with many, many objects on them, and if they're not named or ordered correctly, then it can become quite confusing or tedious to find the right object. My goal with this video is to show you a best practice of mine, which is giving a friendly name to every object in the selection pane, especially if you ever plan on creating a bookmark for that report. Doing so isn't super obvious in the interface currently, but once you see how to do it, it's easy enough to implement. All right, let's get started. So I have in front of me my scorecard report template that I've used in a few presentations and other things. There will be a good example of a page with a lot of objects on it. We can see that there's a lot of cards and other things on here that if we had a list of them could be very confusing and hard to navigate through. So let's go ahead and turn on our selection pane. We're going to come up here to the view section on the top ribbon, and I'm going to toggle selection pane. And that's going to open up this window over here on the right, and you can see this list of all of the items that are on our report currently. And what I've already done, and I'll walk you through, is each one of these has a friendly object name. Let me go ahead and expand this out a little bit. There we are. And the two big things that I like to do is I like to both name all of them to help me identify what they are, plus put them in the right sort order. So as an example, if I select sales amount, you'll see that it's right there from the left and it moves left to right, top to bottom. So sales amount, store rank, total value, they're all ordered there correctly and named appropriately. Now the trick too to actually get any of these objects to be named is there's no option to right click in this selection pane, or double click to rename them at all. The way to do it, as I mentioned, is not super intuitive, but once you understand where it's located, it's easy to do. You come up to the paint roller up here, you go into the title section, you do have to turn on the title temporarily for any object. You put whatever the name you want in there within this text box section, and then turn it back off, and then that is what the name will be in here. Pretty straightforward and easy to do, and allows you to leave a breadcrumb trail later on to make it easy to come back to your report later if you ever need to do development or you need to group by bookmarks. So I hope at some point they update to allow you to be able to double click on any of these or right click and rename it itself, but there is still a way to at least access it from the title section. All right, with that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to click the like button, comment if you have anything to say below. And if you wanna see any more videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And with that being said, I will see you in our next video.